Here it is. Master One of Super Monkey Ball 2. Centrifugal. Big centrifuge. Pretty crazy looking level for the first stage of Master. But I'm gonna have to tell you all right now that I'm very disappointed that it's not a, like a brand new area. I mean, we've seen this place before. And the music's the same. I thought it would be something a little more different, and whenever I found out it was space, I was like, wow, really? Yeah, I had some crazy new levels to play. It was still a little bit disappointing, and I know my brother was pretty disappointed, too. I mean, after seeing the crazy epicness that was the master floors of Super Monkey Ball 1, I, I just was kind of disappointed that it was still this space spacey background, even though we were just playing 10 floors on it. But it's okay, and as you can see there, it's not really that difficult. All you have to do is just kind of just wait it out a little bit and use your map to find the goal. And Don't miss it, though, and you can, of course, by the looks of it, you can go pretty fast and fly off the stage. Alright, this one's called Swing Bridges, and it's not really special looking at all. So, it's, it's not that hard, but you have to, like... If you uh, try to stay on the edges, it's gonna—it's moving too fast. It'll just flip you right off. And going back the other way, you can get to a really tough green goal. But I didn't want to skip this stage right here, Master Three, because it is probably the hardest stage in the entire game. And hey, it's Master Three once again. What do you know? But yeah, this one is just so unbelievably difficult. And we are on our last life. I don't think we're going to beat all 10 master levels without losing a continue. And there it goes, but I've got, the game will still give you like, yeah, 5 continues there, and we're just gonna keep on going. I have my 83 lives back, and we're just gonna try to get through these the rest of these master stages. I don't think I told everyone this, but if you can actually get through all ten of these master stages without losing a continue, you will get to master extra mode. When I first heard about that, I was like, wow, really? I wonder how crazy those sons of bitches are. <laughs> but we can't get there. However, I have master mode unlocked, but that still doesn't matter. An even easier way? And I can just play them off my stage select, which I've got, so. And what I just did there is a pretty good skip there. Pretty useful. You can go, uh, you go, you get speed right here, and you charge off the center. But you, well, that's not, I didn't really do it there. But yeah, if, you can make it to the other side there. But it's really hard to get it, stay on that final narrow spinning cylinder. Yeah, it's just really hard. It's hard to stay on these cylinders, period. It's ridiculous. So hard, I just want to skip this shit. And if it was a little bit farther apart, which it probably should have been because it was Master, it, and you couldn't skip dip it, man, it would just be... Ugh. Forcing you to have to stay on these cylinders. See how hard it is to stay on that thing? Man, I, just, I can't... This stage is just fucking hard. Hard. And you'll see now how difficult some of these master stages are. I mean, it may not be as quite a special a setting, but man, you can't deny how difficult some of these are gonna be. And this one, this one's just about as hard as they come. Oh, so fucking close! Yeah, this definitely gets my vote as one of the absolute most difficult stages in this game. Might be the hardest. <laughs> Just fails all around. And once again, I found out Master's existence. I, I figured it existed after the first game, but I didn't know about Master Extra. But I learned about Master and Master Extra together by looking off the internet because I was just curious I'm like hmm what happens if I actually go through this expert mode without losing a continue oh my god no fuck you too fast 
Ugh, I couldn't slow down, honest. They're just unbelievably difficult. You can see which way the cylinders are moving, but it is just so fucking hard to stay on those things. Yes, we made it over. Skip dipping was my only chance. My god, it's just so hard to do it the other way. I've done it before, but man, doing it the normal way, man, it's just fucking hard. Alright, we passed that piece of shit. Now this is called Passage. This reminds me of kind of like fast-moving monorail trains or something. <laughs> and by the looks of those things, they will push you to oblivion. They will just smack you clear to another dimension. Ugh, man. I usually take the right path here. I don't know why, I just always do. The stage isn't too difficult. It just gets really awkward when you gotta try to jump these side gaps. It's easy to fall to your doom. I'm gonna go with the blue goal. There is actually a green goal here. Um, you, uh, halfway through that thing, you actually turn around and drop down to a lower floor. And there's a lot of bananas down there. Yeah, right there to the left, I believe. Down in the center. It's probably right there, actually. If I'd actually make it across there to show you. But yeah, drop down there to get to a green goal, but I'm not gonna do that. Because as with the... Well, I couldn't actually skip any master stages on the first game, because there were no special goals. But, I'm not taking any of the special goals here to skip any of the master stages. Oh yeah! Oh my god! Ah! Nobody's gonna hear you scream, I. I. It's just too far out. You're all alone in cold, dead space. Except for this moving... This moving bullshit. I, uh, I don't know why they put special goals. They should have made you... They should have forced you into actually completing all of these stages. There's even special goals in the Master Extra stages. And one that's particularly not that difficult to reach. The red goal, which is kind of disappointing. Alright, we beat it. Heh. <laughs> Alright, time for this puzzling level called Notch, because of the notches in this slight, I guess the cylindrical rotating platform. Yeah, this one's definitely Master-esque, because you kind of have to, you don't really know when you're supposed to get on it, and there's only like pretty much one way to get around it, and that's how you do it. But I failed. It's really hard to get your bearings whenever you reach the top there. Yeah, you gotta let it pass the whole way around. You can't get it on you can't get on it right now and think you're gonna somehow get through it. I don't think it's possible. Those notches are gonna prevent you from making it across. Yeah, there's just no way. Yeah, you get on it now, avoid that notch, avoid that notch, and you have to try to stay at the top and get over just as it meets that. It is that that is the most difficult part of the entire stage where I'm failing. Alright, let's try this again. Come on. Oh man, that is just so hard. I am tired of these moving cylinders. They are so difficult to stay on. I mean, this one's nothing compared to the actual cylinder stage. But man, ugh. Just difficult. Yep, this stage definitely belongs in Master. I don't I don't really think Passage belonged in there, but it was very easy to fail. And uh, I don't believe the first two belonged in there either. But, um, Cylinders, yeah, definitely belongs in Master. Passage is pretty hard. I was failing there. That one's actually okay for Master. This one's definitely suited for it. Now I'm just talking redundantly. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh! Fallout. You fail. Fuck. I'm not sure whether if there's other ways to pass this stage or not. This is just how I do it, and it... <laughs> that's it, right there. 
Oh, we made it across. Thank you. And that is the end. Next time, we will continue on with the remaining master stages. See ya!